The Unite desktop application is a versatile and multi-platform tool that integrates your business communications and increases agent efficiency when using their devices. You can easily download the desktop application from the Unite app's landing page. Open any browser and go to intermedia.net forward slash Unite apps. Click the download button for your platform, PC or Mac, and wait for the download to finish. Click on the install file from your download folder or from your browser's download list. The installation is pretty straightforward. Read and accept the usage agreement, select your installation options and directory, and click finish. A desktop icon will be created and the application will open to the login screen automatically. Enter your username and password and click the login button. When you first log in, you are able to select the application mode, selecting between the call controller or soft phone. The call controller works together with your desk phone, providing click-to-call capabilities and call management features. The soft phone enables live call functionality directly on your desktop. With any PC or Mac compatible headset, you can use the desktop app as a hardware replacement or just to have a phone on the go. The selection screen is only shown to you the first time you log in with the user on a new installation. However, you can change the application mode at any time in the options menu. Once you've selected an application mode, desktop is automatically configured to work with your voice services account and you will see the main display of the desktop application. Anytime you open Unite Desktop, either from the shortcut icon or from the taskbar if already running, you will be brought to the contacts tab. This is your corporate directory, listing all users on the same voice services account. You can scroll through the alphabetical list or search for a contact by typing their first or last name, phone number, or extension number in the search bar at the top. To call a contact, you can simply hover over the contact so that the phone icon is visible and click the icon to start your call. Alternatively, you can click the username to view their contact card. The contact card will display the user's current status, being available, busy, or offline, their phone numbers and extension number, their email address, and even their department and office information if entered in the voice services control panel. If you happen to contact a specific user more often than others, you can click the star next to any of their numbers to set them as a favorite, displaying them at the top of your contacts list in a new favorites group. The History tab contains all placed, received, and missed calls. You can even filter out only your missed calls by clicking the Missed tab at the top. Just like the contact list, you can mouse over a call in the history and click the phone icon to immediately call the party back. You can also click the name or number on the left to access the call history card, which will display the last three most recent calls and additional contact information if available. The final tab, Meeting, allows users with any meeting enabled to quickly access their meeting URL, dial-in number, and access PIN. There are also quick links allowing you to email the meeting or copy the meeting info to your clipboard to share it on any communication medium. Finally, you can click the Enter My Meeting button to open any meeting in your browser and start a new meeting on the fly. At the top of the application, you will see a small menu bar with three buttons that access additional options in desktop. The first button is the dial pad. You can dial any number or extension by clicking the numbers, or simply typing it in the search bar above. If the number is assigned to a contact on the account, you will see the contact listed in the scroll window above. Otherwise, you can simply press the call button to start a call with the number you typed. You can click Close Dial Pad at any time to get back to the main window. The next button on the menu bar is the Options button, which gives you access to configuration options for the desktop application. The first menu item in Options is Application Settings, which allows you to adjust desktop functionality controls. Under Application Mode, you can change the primary functionality of the desktop app between the Call Controller or Soft Phone app. When assigned to the call controller, you will see a drop-down that lists all hardware assigned to your user account, 
and a current assigned click to call device listed. You can only select one device as your primary click to call device, but you can change the device here at any time. When assigned to soft phone, there are no other settings necessary under application mode. However, this will add an additional menu item, audio settings, on the main options window that lets you select your audio source and input options for your headset and microphone. Under notifications, you can choose to show or hide incoming call notifications. This is the small pop-up that displays on the bottom right of your screen when you receive a call. You can also choose to enable or disable sound notifications, which will mute ringing on new calls and any sounds produced by new events in the application. Under application, you can set Unite Desktop to run in the background, which will minimize the app to your taskbar when you click the red X at the top right. If this is disabled, the taskbar icon will not appear while desktop is running, and clicking the X will close the application completely. The last option is to enable or disable running the desktop application when your computer starts. If this is disabled, you will need to open the application from the desktop icon or from your start menu. If you change any settings on the options window, you must click the Save Changes button at the bottom to confirm your configurations. If you are changing your application mode between call controller and soft phone, the app will prompt you to restart so it can reconfigure itself to work in the desired mode. Back on the options window, the next menu item is Advanced Settings. This section allows you to turn on application logging, which will create a log file of the events in the desktop application. The setting can generally stay disabled unless you are having issues that require in-depth troubleshooting with the support team. The Send Feedback menu item will open your default email application and address a new message to the app feedback support address. If you have any issues while using desktop or desire new features, we encourage you to use this option to easily send feedback to the teams responsible. The Updates menu item allows you to check for and install new application updates. The desktop application will notify you when updates are available by displaying an event flag on the Options icon. Clicking to access your Options menu will also show the event flag on the Updates menu item. You can then click Update to download and install the latest version of desktop and the window will prompt you to restart the application when finished. The last menu bar item is your user profile. Clicking your picture will open your profile details, where you can change your availability status, add a note or message to display on your contact card for others to read, and see your direct phone numbers and extension. There are significant differences between using the call controller with a desk phone and using the soft phone, We'll go through both application modes to explain the differences. When using Unite Desktop as a call controller, the application serves as an extension of your desk phone. This allows you to perform some call management options, such as placing or answering new calls, while your voice conversations occur on your assigned click-to-call device. When you receive a call in call controller mode, the desktop application will notify you of the incoming call with an audible ring and call information. If you have the app open on your desktop, the information will be displayed directly in the window, with additional options to decline the call to your Follow Me Forward setting or send it directly to your voicemail. If the application is minimized to your taskbar, you will receive a pop-up notification with the caller ID information. You can click the pop-up to access the full window display. To place a call in call controller mode, click the phone icon on a contact or use the dial pad to enter a number and press the call button. Once a number is called, you will immediately receive a call to your desk phone, and upon answering, you will be connected to your dialed number and hear ringing. The application advises you that we are still waiting for the other party to answer. When the call is connected, the desktop app will display your active conversation, showing the caller ID information and call duration on the top left as well as giving you some additional call control options. You can call a second party by clicking Add Call. This will minimize the current conversation to the top of the app and present the contact window below.
calling an additional party will add a call tab to the top of the window and send the call to the second line of your device. Press the line key to pick up the call and wait for the ringing to start. This will automatically place your first caller on hold and you will see an indication of the held party in the call tabs. You can click between the tabs to access call control options for both calls. You can use the call flip button to flip the call back to your extension, allowing you to pick it up on a different device associated with your user account. You can use the park button to park the call on a virtual extension to be picked up from another device on the account. Parking from the application will display the parked extension where the call resides in the middle of the window. You can also transfer the call to another user or phone number. Pressing the transfer button will bring you to the contact list. When you hover over a contact, you have the option of transferring the call to the user or directly to their voicemail. If you are transferring to a number that is not on the account, you will only be able to transfer the call directly. If you decide to end the call from desktop, the call is immediately disconnected from your device and the call is logged in your history tab. When using Unite Desktop as a soft phone, calls made or received are all handled on the application using a headset and microphone. When you receive a call in soft phone mode, the desktop application will notify you of the incoming call with an audible ring and call information is displayed on the desktop window or through the pop-up notification. When you answer a call on the soft phone, you will notice a few additional call controls available to you. Using your mouse, you can mute your microphone, place the caller on hold, start a second call, flip the current call to pick it up on another device, or access the dial pad for DTMF tone input. Ending a call from the application will disconnect the call immediately. To place an outbound call in soft phone mode, simply click the phone icon near any contact or use the dial pad to enter a phone number and press the call button. You will again see the caller ID and call duration on the top left and have access to all of the same call control options previously described. Should you need to access the main desktop window during a call, you can click the Hide Call link at the bottom of the app. This will minimize the caller to the top of the window and display the Contacts tab, giving you access to your history, meetings, and application options.